Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, I want to take a closer look at NVIDIA, my number one semiconductor company. More importantly, what I want to take a closer look at is their GTC event. So for those that are not familiar, NVIDIA this week, starting on March 18th to March 21st, they are going to have a huge AI conference. And while most people are probably just excited for the keynote that's going to come out on March 18th, there's a lot of different sessions and a lot of different live streams that are going to come out throughout the next week that I believe all NVIDIA investors should kind of keep a closer eye on. So in today's episode, I want to take a closer look at what my overall thoughts are for the keynotes, what I'm excited to hear about the keynote, but more importantly, some of the top conferences and some of the top sessions that I'm going to be listening throughout the whole week. So let's take a closer look in today's episode. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. So the first thing is, uh, I, I get a lot of questions of Jose, what do you think the stock price is going to do after GTC? And to me, the I, I don't want to, I don't have an answer, um, but I do... But based on historical, usually events like this are kind of sell the news. Right now, we do have the keynote. And that's what I believe most investors are going to be wondering about. So the keynote starts on March 18th at around 4, I believe it's 4 p.m. here at Eastern Standard Time. And this is when the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen, is going to go live and is going to talk to us about all the new solutions that NVIDIA has for this upcoming year. Um, and a lot of those new solutions have kind of been known. So we know the H200 is going to come. We know the Blackwell, what, the Black B100 is going to come out and maybe some small chips outside of that Blackwell generation. So the market is always forward thinking. So I do believe the market to some extent has priced in some type of performance for these products, has priced in some types of surprises. So at the end of the day, one doesn't know what's going to happen after these events because because one doesn't know exactly how the market has priced it. So for me, I am an investor, not a long, not not a trader, and this is probably going to be a great trader event where either it can go up or down. In the long term of things, I, Nvidia is going to showcase a lot of great solutions for the AI market that will be great beneficial, uh, ben, uh, that will provide great revenue segments for the company in the future. So now I want to take a closer look at some of the conferences that I believe all NVIDIA investors should take a closer look at. The first one, uh, the first three we're going to talk about are not live streams. And they do, if, if they're not live streams, uh, if they're not live stream events, NVIDIA is going to bring these sessions in a recording within the next 72 hours after the scheduled time. So the first three are not live stream. The first one is inside NVIDIA's growing AI portfolio. So we know that NVIDIA has talked about investing in AI companies one way or another. Some of them are public, some of them are private. Here in this event on Monday, March 18th at 1 p.m. Eastern time we're going to see that nvidia is going to be bringing up some of their private entities like runway perplexity a lot of big ai names and kind of just talk about the future of the ai market and if nvidia is investing in these segments it does kind of showcase that these are the segments that could have a huge growth opportunity within the next few years. So that's the first event, and this is going to be a recording that should be come out about 72 hours after Monday. Before we go any further, I just want to say thank you all for the amazing support we are getting in this channel. We're closing in to 40,000 subs. That is insane. So if you haven't and you are enjoying the content, make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Finally, if you want to support this channel a little bit more, check out my special offer at fool.com slash Jose. Now back to today's episode. The second one is another one dealing with their overall investments. So NVIDIA has an NV venture, and this is where they, again, continue to invest in more startups. And here, these startup companies are going to showcase their overall portfolio. This is another recording that's going to happen on Monday. So expect the full video probably 72 hours after that. But again, if NVIDIA is bringing these startups out to the public and really showcasing their overall solution, it does kind of bode well that, hey, these are the opportunities that can really showcase something to the AI market in the next few years. So I, these two 
events and sessions, while they're not going to be live stream, they can provide great insight to investors on where we should look at for future investments because these are the early stages. Now, the third one that's not going to be a live stream that I think investors should keep a closer eye out is this one that's coming out on, on Wednesday, March 20th, and it's the five essential Gen AI apps for your business. So here we're going to take a closer look at some of the generative AI companies that are out right now and just kind of hear from NVIDIA uh, and all these kind of AI companies of why these are needed. And if you are maybe a business owner, if you are maybe an entrepreneur, maybe take a closer look at this at this at this event because it could give you ideas of maybe how you can incorporate ai into your business one way or another for example i know 11 labs is one that deals with conversational ai um, generative ai solutions and that's used a lot by youtubers as they create kind of faceless youtube channels the other ones i'm not too familiar with so i'm pretty excited to take a closer look at that now the next nine conferences that I have, I believe, are all live stream. Um, and some of them might kind of jump uh, or, or, or might be a conflict with each other. But I still want to bring them out to you guys because some of them, to, to you all, to my viewers, because they all have different markets. And maybe one of you might be interested in cybersecurity. One of you might be interested in gaming. So I wanted to kind of bring out all the ones that really caught my attention, even if they overlapped each other. The first one is obviously the main one, GTC 2024. That is the main keynote, and obviously it's important because Jensen's going to be there. And again, it's going to talk about all the new solutions coming out here in the AI market. The next one I think is also pretty interesting is the healthcare. Um, it's coming on on Tuesday, and this is healthcare is adopting generative AI, becoming one of the largest tech industries. So I have done a few videos. Uh, I actually did a video uh, I want to say about two, three weeks ago of how I talked about all the different healthcare solutions that NVIDIA has and how this is one of their biggest growth opportunity. So here in this keynote, we can hear a little bit more about that, what it really means. And with the pretty cool presentation, I guess we can really try to foresee how generative AI is going to push the healthcare market and what that could mean for NVIDIA's future revenue. Now, another one is coming in. So some of the events are either interesting in forms of the topic that they're discussing or sometimes it's the speaker that I find interesting. And on Tuesday, March 19th, we are going to see the scaling of Croc with H100. So for those that are not familiar with Croc, this is the large language model and the chat box that a twi uh, Twitter, X aka X, uses. So the co-founder of XAI um, is going to be doing a keynote here. So again, this is a company from obviously Elon that's really focused on the AI space. So by getting into the minds of uh, uh, the co-founder here, it's something that I'm pretty excited about. So I do believe this could be a big solution. And obviously it's going to showcase how NVIDIA's GPUs are, using, are used for training and inferencing of large language models like Rock. Now, another one that I personally find pretty interesting is the cybersecurity market. So on Tuesday, March 19th at 12 p.m. Eastern time, we are going to see the rethinking of cybersecurity in the age of generative AI and how emerging generative AI applications are coming for the cybersecurity space. Now, this is one I'm pretty excited about, and this is from the COO, the Chief Operating Officer of OpenAI. It's going to be Tuesday, March 19th. What's next in generative AI solutions? Uh, so obviously, we've heard of things like mo uh, multimodality in, in generative AI and all these kind of large language model solutions. So this keynote is going to be great because we're going to see what's going to be the future of a company like OpenAI and what this could mean for kind of the computational power and the kind of solutions that NVIDIA can provide. So having NVIDIA and OpenAI in the same in the same conference is a great way to kind of see where the market will go within the next year. Now, outside of cybersecurity, another industry that I find pretty interesting is the robotics space. And here we can see on Wednesday, March 20th, we are going to see robotics in the age of generative AI. And here we're going to see a, a pretty cool uh, 
distinguish scientists from Google DeepMind. Google DeepMind, DeepMind is another big player here in the AI space. So this is one where I'm both excited about the topic at hand and also the speaker, uh, the speaker doing the session. Uh, so here, the robotics market, we're hearing companies like Tesla, right, with Figure AI as well, really pushing into the robotic space. So we can kind of try to learn how generative AI is going to fall into that market. Now, another keynote, and this is this is probably going to be my top three, I'm going to say, are going to be the main keynotes, the healthcare keynote, and this would be number three, and it's transforming AI. And this is going to be on Wednesday, March 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. The reason this is my third favorite, it might even actually be my first favorite, you're having big players from all the AI companies. You have um, Jensen is going to be in this keynote. He's only going to be in two, in three keynotes. This is the second one here outside of the main one. And you're also going to have company, uh, people from OpenAI, from Cohere, from Character AI, from Essential AI, from Near Protocol. All these are big AI companies and they're all going to kind of discuss what's coming in for the AI space. So having all those great minds together, again, can help us understand more of how NVIDIA can provide even more solutions for these giants. Now I have two more companies. The other one, uh, two more panels. The next one is another kind of panel discussions with numerous CEOs about generative AI on robotics. Earlier, I talked about how the robotics market is one that I find pretty interesting. And here we're going to see more people talk about it within light. And that's going to be on Wednesday, March 20th. Now, on Thursday, March 21st, this is going to be the last one that I have here. And this is bringing the metaverse to the next billion users via codec avatars. And this is one, again, one where I'm excited for both the topic at hand and the speaker. The topic at hand, I do believe the metaverse is still something that's going to happen within the within the future uh the metaverse is something that meta has been pushing a lot and we can see the speaker here is going to be the vice president and research of meta platforms so we're going to hear from someone in meta company and again in a topic that i find pretty interesting so hopefully this uh there's over 200 probably even more than 200 sessions happening at gtc so i want to bring out the ones that i found pretty interesting and the ones i'm going to be watching for each of these to some extent if they do bring some form of great knowledge um i i will most likely be doing about an eight minute video on some of the key products and what nvidia investors should keep a closer eye out in all these segments so if you haven't make sure to hit the thumbs up make sure to hit the subscribe button and see you guys all tomorrow i will most likely be doing a live stream on the keynote and just sharing my overall commentary while it's happening so take care have a good day and see you next time